All right, hey everyone, Phil Batterson back with another video. So today what I wanna do is I wanna detail um, how the pop top actually sets up and then how we take it down and then give you guys a little bit more of a detailed look at what the pop-up mechanisms and uh, all of that look like. So let's begin. So the first thing you need to do is unlatch all of the four latches that hold the roof down. Um, there is an order that these have to go in, especially now that I installed the awning. So we start at the top right corner over there, and then we go all the way around to the back right corner. And if you wanna get a close up on this, so the reason why is because this, the awning mount interferes with this, but you're able to get it off if you pull down and compress it a little and then get it out of the way. So now what I'll do is I'll climb up in the back of the camper and as opposed to um, popping the camper up from the outside, what I like to do is I like to just lift up on the roof and the pop-up mechanism right here. So I just push up right here, the whole roof goes up and then you wanna make sure that the gas struts are fully deployed and then I still haven't come up with a great way of clamping things in place so I just use these little clamps put those in place, then you crawl up, take your shoes off so you don't get your bed dirty, but you crawl up into the bed, and then you essentially just do a bench press. So hopefully you're <laughs> strong enough and familiar with that. And then you get the second mechanism in place, clamp it down, and now the entire roof is deployed. All right, so before we go inside the camper, the first thing I wanna show you is how the gas struts are mounted. So the bottom of the gas struts are mounted to these angle aluminum. Um, I drilled out the center hole for this and then uh, mounted the gas strut uh, or on, the, on the channel with um, just some normal T-nuts. Um, so the gas strut is on the inside of the frame, but on the outside of the canvas. And this was because I wanted to make sure that uh, the gas strut wouldn't rust because the last ones I had started to rust. So the inside or the top of the gas strut is mounted on the inside there. And I recognize it's kind of hard to see, but there's just another aluminum um, angle up there that I bored out and uh, then just mounted the same 13 millimeter ball stud to that. All right, so now we're on the inside of the camper and I wanna show you the pop-up mechanisms. So the pop-up mechanisms are two separate pieces. You got the bottom piece and then you got the top piece. The bottom piece and the top piece are essentially the exact same. They have two feet of continuous piano hinge that are mounted to the bottom and then mounted to the aluminum track that goes through here. And then they are bolted together across the top with another set, let's see if we can see this, of continuous hinges. It's really hard to see, but um, the continuous hinges are right here and they're kind of spaced out, like spaced like a gap so that when you press it in, you get some sort of uh, kind of clicking into place. Um, and in order to keep them in place, you just press them down, Let's see if I can do this with one hand, and then clamp them into place. And I'm sure there are, you know, locks and latches and other things that I can do, but this has been the easiest way of getting them to stay in place. Um, and then on the top, same sort of thing. You can see I was only really able to get two or four of the uh, quarter turn uh, bolts in, um, and then one of them broke. So just be aware that uh, the stainless steel, or don't over torque your, your bolts here. All right, so that's one side, and then you just mirror it exactly on the other side and 
that is what holds the entire like roof in place when uh, it's totally popped up. Another thing to mention is that the canvas actually plays a pretty integral role in providing stability for the uh, for the pop top itself. So until you actually get the roof all set up and the canvas like attached in place, you're not going to have stability with your roof. So keep that in mind when you're building it. All right. So um, before putting the the roof down, I like to unroll the canvas and Velcro it into place. Um, it just keeps things kind of out of the way um, when you're actually going to put the roof back down. Um, another thing is that uh, we can leave the bed in place because we have enough spacing for the uh, like between like all the rails and all that sort of stuff. So the first thing I always do is I always pop down this side, the, the overhang of the roof. And um, what we'll do now is I'll have my fiance stand out on the other side and videotape me actually uh, popping things down as I kind of narrate what's going on. All right, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm just gonna uh, pop out the first pop-up mechanism. And then I actually just pull down on the pop-up mechanism and just slowly guide the roof down. And while you're doing this, you pull in all the canvas and all of that as well as you possibly can. So there's one. Back out. Take off the clamps for the other portion. Put your shoes back on. <laughs> and then slowly just pull on the other mechanism and kind of support the rest of the roof as you slowly move it down and make sure you're pulling in on the entire thing as you go. So now the roof is down. Now we can just latch it back into place. So this time it just goes the opposite way and Got one, two, three, and then the last one. So there you have it. That's the uh, entire pop top of the camper. Um, I really like the pop top design just because it gives so much space for the sleeping area and all of that. Obviously it's a little bit more complicated than a wedge, but um, it's definitely worth it if you can uh, get the engineering, you have the mobility to be able to uh, deploy the pop-up mechanisms and all that. So uh, with that, thanks for watching. Um, if you are liking these videos, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you can see more content like this. Thanks.